Hi, I'm John Holden, and welcome to Earth. We're starting off the show here in Houston, Texas. You know, when Hurricane Harvey hit here in 2017, it was a quick reminder that natural disasters are unavoidable. They can happen anywhere at any time. But there are people who specialize in responding to natural disasters with emergency transportation and emergency fuel for when it's needed most. Let's take a look. The names of the storms might seem commonplace, from Hurricane Harvey in Houston, Irma in Florida, and Maria in Puerto Rico. But the devastation was catastrophic, and the needs immediate. There's nothing more frightening than a hurricane. When a city's infrastructure is destroyed and there's no electricity, the number one need is for fuel. Fuel will power the generators to keep the hospitals, the emergency response, your local community, law enforcement operational. So when disaster strikes, there are emergency responders ready to strike back, including a special team in the fuel and energy field called Suncoast Resources. Once a hurricane strikes and you know the power of a hurricane, your home's been destroyed and there's no electricity, no power, the roads are flooded, everything you depend on is yourself and local authorities, that's when Suncoast is able to come in and help supply fuel to the grid to make sure the power comes back up, make sure we're helping the restoration of the community so that your life can get back to normal. You'll see Suncoast, whether it's a tornado, ice storms, we responded to Hurricane Sandy in New York where we had over 177 trucks deployed. Most recently, Hurricane Harvey, Irma, and Hurricane Maria, which affected Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, we currently still have over 50 vehicles on the island. We've been there since the first day. We actually had drivers go over before landfall and ride the storm out in anticipation of the destruction. And we've been there since day one, supplying fuel to generators to power hospitals, schools, and local emergency personnel to help the people of Puerto Rico get back up on their feet. Anytime government or businesses need to count on somebody to bring fuel when their local suppliers can't, Suncoast resources can be counted on. Founded by Kathy Laney in 1985 and one of the largest woman-owned businesses in Texas, Suncoast Resources is now a billion-dollar business specializing in emergency fuel response, operating from this 21-acre headquarters complex in Houston with its own state-of-the-art storm operations center, activated 24-7 during all natural disasters, as well as a mobile command unit ready to take on the road. From our mobile command center, we'll be able to deploy anywhere in the country and have a central location in the heart of the disaster where our drivers can be deployed from and return their paperwork. It gets extremely crazy. We have over 100 trucks and drivers that are activated into a storm, and so they all return here to turn the paperwork in and get their next loads, so it becomes very busy. That includes a modern delivery fleet of over 700 vehicles for transport of that emergency fuel virtually anywhere in the country. Many of them really quite unique in nature because they have to be specially designed for emergency delivery in any kind of condition. You know, we have had very unique vehicles. When our customers ask us, can we make a delivery? We've had to adapt. For instance, these are our modified ATVs. These particular units just returned from St. Thomas. They were being used in the mountainous regions where they could access generators inaccessible by our normal fuel trucks. This particular unit is one of our quick response vehicles. It's a smaller version of a big bobtail. This unit holds 1,000 gallons and has two compartments. It enables us to get into low clearance areas where a typical bobtail would be unable to make deliveries. So we've had to adapt, create new vehicles, and improvise where needed. And we've actually created vehicles that now are industry standards. That includes supply agreements with fuel terminals that offer access up to a billion gallons of fuel when needed at places like Kinder Morgan here in Pasadena, Texas. Fuel is vital during, during any natural disaster. Uh, first responders, uh, emergency 
personnel, any, anyone who's out trying to help in any area where a natural disaster is, is going to need fuel. And, and we provide that here. It also means an important partnership with Chevron to provide its ISO-clean lubricants that maximize performance and extend engine life in the field with cleaner running equipment. When we're talking about lubrication, particle contamination is the number one cause of lubricant-related failure in machinery. The particles we're talking about are particles that are so small that you cannot see with the human eye. The Chevron ISOCLEAN Certified Lubricants Program that Suncoast Resources provides to their customers is very important. It provides a lubricant that has been tested to ensure that its filterability is not causing damage to the lubricant which could ultimately result into that piece of equipment. Lubrication is very important. It really is the lifeblood of machine reliability. There are many types of emergencies. There's a natural disaster emergency that happens when we need fuel, and there's also the emergency in plants and industrial customers across the Gulf Coast that when they need a go-to company to make sure that the products they're putting in their turbines and other industrial equipment are up and running, they call on Suncoast to ensure they're getting the proper products. In our corporate headquarters, we have a flag, an American flag, that has flown over all three hurricanes in 2017. Hurricane Harvey in Texas, Hurricane Irma in Florida, and in Puerto Rico during Hurricane Maria. This flag shows that America really can make things happen if we put our mind to it. You know, natural disasters will always be a force to reckon with on this good earth, but rapid response and a clean energy product will ultimately lead to a much cleaner environment.